Hey Scorpio, welcome to your love reading. This will be for those of you who are dealing with someone, thinking about what's going on in that connection. And let's find out how this person see you, their feelings, as well as the possible outcome in that connection. Scorpio, thank you so much for all your uh, support. I truly appreciate you all. All right, Scorpio, let's get started. What's going on in Corp Scorpio's situation right now? Love situation. Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. All right. Let's get you a preview. What is going on? Scorpio, a lot of activities. You're talking to someone. Wow, recently for some of you, there could have been a false start. Or you could be connecting with someone, getting more physically intimate with somebody. There were a lot of activities, fun activities, fiery activities, Scorpio. But it looks to me like the faster it happens, the faster it finishes too. And it causes some disappointments here. Somebody is trying to process things out. It could be you processing what's going on or it could be the person wondering what happened. <laughs> okay, let's go to your main spread. That's a quick, it's a good preview. Let us see. Scorpio. Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. All right. Wow, Ten of Cups for your energy. <laughs> and it's very watery on top. You see? Wow. Who is this person that you have recently set eyes on yeah you're falling in love with this person and i feel like you see this person as a good contender uh to become a uh, spouse a girlfriend a boyfriend type of person yeah somebody that you see possibility for good connection possibility to build a life together you're pretty much happy. You're in love thinking about this person. Yeah, you have a very good um, good feel towards this connection. But somehow I feel like this person is not so connected to you emotionally right now. Or for some of you, this is someone who's turning their back on you. But why is that? They're turning their back. Or for some, this is... They are protecting themselves. Yeah, not to fall not to be more emotionally like emotionally attached yeah somebody who is not so emotionally attached but they want to continue talking getting to know you because they are curious what is here yeah they're curious about having that connection with you they're curious about you they're curious about what your intentions are this is someone who's willing to love. Open, They're open to love, actually. Open to have that romantic connection. But as of the moment, they are interested to get to know you. Yeah, to get to know you. And getting to know you face doesn't mean that they are falling deeply, crazily in love right away. For some of you, this is also a person who is aware that when they meet someone that they're interested in, they can fall easily in love. And that, with you right now, they are trying to protect themselves, protect their heart. Before they, fool, they fully be in love, they want to get to know you first. Yes. <laughs> you know, that's what I'm getting here. They see that for you, Scorpio, you could have initiated a comeback or initiated a reach out to this person you you may have reached out to this person you may have shown some interest or that desire to get to know them too they can see that they have the perception that you are interested with them they know that you're interested with them they know that you do have feelings for them but they're wanting to see more action yeah possibly they're even open to have a new beginning, a new relationship, romantic relationship with you. For now, they're kind of thinking, where is this leading? There's a big question mark here. 
there's a big question mark where is this going where is this leading are you guys communicating <laughs> it seems like it's all hearts and feels you know there's no no swords here let's see let's clarify more yeah you love this person and you want to go further ahead with them i mean you know you want to make this decision to be with them you love this person so much you could even be checking on them wanting to know what they're doing yeah even if you're not talking right now it's or probably when you're talking you just give each other a few more minutes of the day but there's no emotional exchange it's more like very logistical or what's going on if somebody wants help or needs help probably the other party is open to do that but that's just that you know there's no sharing of emotions but you both kind of having these feelings towards each other the curiosity that you have with each other but why are you not guys talking what is this eight of cups yeah honestly you have someone here who's really interested to see where this relationship is going they want to have that beginning with you they want to have this ace of swords they want to know what this is before they can take any step with you this is someone who requires clarity who requires communication consistent honest clear communication if you give this person the sporadic approach or the here and there flaky approach that would be a red flag and they can see that as a red flag so if you want a relationship if this person is open for relationship definitely when there are red flags that will be too red for them yeah they know that it is not gonna lead to the ace of cups with too many red flags i feel like um they're waiting to see more from you before they continue to pursue or before they continue to put a lot of effort into this connection but they truly want to have this to be a to have a successful connection with you successfully started up you know they want that what is the page of cups mm -hmm. okay since they don't really know how you feel about them it looks to me like this person seemed to be holding back right now yeah, they're not putting a lot of effort they're not pursuing you they're not even chasing you yeah because emotions wise they are curious about you scorpio but they don't know how you truly feel you may have shown them you may have shown them through your hugs or through your i don't know your kisses or at some point when you talk to each other but this person needs more consistency they need more clarity in order for them to truly step forward hence there is this pause right now they know that you have shared some time together some dates and all that but what's next is it worth going further ahead is it worth taking that extra step or the next step they're thinking about that because now they don't know things are pretty unclear yeah the moon feelings are muddy unclear gray area so in order to protect their interest and their feelings i feel like they are concentrating more on themselves um not really giving in too much for now okay what is this judgment uh-huh there is a sense of hopefulness they hope and they anticipate you coming back or reaching out to change or to get this person of uh, this uh, situation going they anticipate that there will be changes in this connection that means you possibly reaching out to them and expressing how you feel what you want from them what you want what type of connection you want from them what type of relationship you want from them and they anticipate getting together hanging out dating being with each other again yeah all right 
they can also see that possibly you're just waiting for them to initiate what is the ace of cups here mm -hmm. this is someone who wants commitment yeah and once they commit they're looking for um yeah definitely this is someone he, they may not tell you what they're looking for but they're looking for a more stable type of relationship and um surprisingly if this is a comeback if you guys reunited um or reconnected they might have even been surprised by that reconnection because at some point it felt like this connection may have already been died or may have already been ended in the past yeah and they kind of know that yay maybe with this scorpio it's not gonna work last time i did, did not work last time so possibly it's not gonna work this time yeah but they're surprised let's see more what is the ace of cups here yeah they felt uh, rejected or not wanted back then, especially in the past. There has been somebody here felt like they were rejected in the past. Yeah, and it, it didn't really feel good. Yeah, it didn't really feel good. But so far, it looks like um, there is that Ace of Wands supporting the Ace of Cups, which is this person now is sort of seeing the possibility of a uh, romantic connection with you because there's been a reinitiation or there's been an initiation here so someone here may have reached out to someone or both of you may even have this reconnection one-time sex or casual sex or something like that there was a spark spark has been created this time and this person is hoping that with that spark with that event, with that situation that probably you you did recently together, that could lead to a romantic connection. Yeah, it's not just about doing, but also about feeling. Yeah. But someone here seems to be still holding on about the past. Yeah, a bad breakup. Okay, what is the Two of Wands? I feel like you will receive a message or you will you are thinking about the opportunity you have with this person right now and you're wanting to communicate that. If there, there is a current uh, third party, I feel like someone here is unhappy with that situation or the current situation that someone is in. Scorpio, this could be you. You could be in a situation right now that you're not happy in and you're kind of finishing that up, wrapping that out. Yeah. That's why you're probably not talking to this person fully to the one that we're talking right now. You know, um, Scorpio, I see that you could have two situations here. One is your current situation that you're unhappy on. This is the three of words, a uh, three of swords that you're trying to wrap up yeah and you have another opportunity with this person that we have been talking about and you're thinking this could be a good opportunity for that new love that's why you reinitiated and this person may not even know your current situation because you're not talking about it you haven't told them everything let's see secrets right all the secrets we may have here okay at the bottom of the deck you're not giving up scorpio i feel like you're not giving up although it's a little bit confusing right now you know you don't know what to do with your current situation that's causing this three of swords you're trying your best to have fun you're trying your best to um enjoy the moment to connect with new people but for some of you who are resonating with this reading, if you have a current situation right now that, you're make, that you are being unhappy with, the advice here is that that has to be wrapped up. Yeah, Or for some of you, you are already wrapping that up. Okay. Let's see. Additional message for Scorpio. 
yes, newfound courage. They work up the courage to express their true feelings this month. I feel like this new person that you're talking to, um, they may already have expressed yeah, their true intentions to you. And it's a matter, it's more of now. I feel like this is why you are falling for them, for this person. But if you are in a situation right now, Scorpio, that is um, a little bit of a mess or something that you need to clear out, that has to, that has to be done. Yeah, that has to be done in order for you to move forward to where you really want to be. Okay, additional message from this person. Need space, dazzled by you, need to talk, can't let go. They may not even be talking to you right now, but there is a spark there. Yeah, there is a spark. And um, they are wishing that um, both of you can talk things out, get more clarity in order to uh, proceed in this situation. Yeah, They need clarity before... You this person has interest, a big amount of interest towards you. But before they would even move things forward, they need to have clarity as to where you're at, what your problems are right now that is causing you not to fully invest in them, you know, all, that, all those things. They are not letting go. They can't let you go for now. But they are also respecting if there is a need for space between the two of you. All right, I'm going to leave it at that and let me know if this resonates in a comment section below and don't forget to hit like and subscribe.